Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the newer version of React Router Dome that supports hooks. It's 5.1.2 and plus because the previous version was not supporting hooks properly. Those who are moving from classes to hooks, they probably noticed that the previous version was tightly coupled with classes and there were a few things who were kind of iffy like history and things like that. It is very important to understand this newer version. It was recently released. So let's get it started. And welcome to Texit Tutorials. So the newer version of React Writer Dome has introduced a couple of new hooks like use history, use location, and few other. So we're gonna understand them using a very simple routing example here. But before we get started, uh, let me tell you that I have a Facebook group uh, for React learners. So just in case if you are in a React project and you get stuck and you don't know what to do, you can ask questions in this group. Or if you're bored, you can answer somebody else's question. That's how you learn new things. Or you can post some articles uh, and things like that. Uh, or, or some news about React. So please join it. I'll provide a link here at the bottom. Okay. So to get started, I've created a project using Create React App. And if I go to the package.json, uh, the version I'm using is 16.10.2, which is with hooks. So I need to get the React Router DOM, which I need to install here. So let's do that. So let's do npm install React Router DOM. And since I'm not providing any version, it's going to install the latest version. Okay, so it has installed. I can see it has installed the version 5.1.2 of React Router Dome. If you have a version 5.0.1 and later, uh, it would support hooks. To get started, we're gonna build a very simple website with a bunch of routes. And the objective is to learn this new hooks rather than having uh, building a fancy website. So let's get some stuff from a React Router Dome. So import it. So I would say import some stuff from uh, React Router Dome. We need browser router. Eh, browser router is router. Uh, we also need route. We also need switch because we're going to use switch, switch statement. We also need link, which is a special link. We're going to wrap the whole application using that. So it's available everywhere. Wrap the entire thing inside the app.js. Okay, so we're gonna have some routes and they're gonna be operated using by clicking on the link or typing on a route. So let's have a list. Okay, so I have a UL and LI and inside I have a, okay, let's get this link. We're gonna call it home, the first link and it would have a property called to equal to slash or you can say at home, doesn't matter. Similarly, I can create three more links. The one would be about, about yourself. Then some user say slash about and this would say, oops, this would say slash user. Okay, and I also changed the app.css a little bit. So I added some UL flex direction to row. And I also changed the list styles so it doesn't look that ugly. <laughs> And I also change the style for the links. So right now I don't have any routes set up. So let's do that. And for that, I'm just gonna have a div. And inside that, I would have a switch statement. And switch would allow you to uh, switch routes. So the first route would be home route. Exact path is going to be slash. And we're gonna have a component, but let's not too much worry about it right now. We haven't created it. Uh, let's have a second route, and this would be about route, user route. Okay, so when I click on this home, I wanna load this particular route, and it would have a component inside here, right? So I need to create component, which means I need to create three separate pages. Home page, about page, and a user page. So inside here, Inside the source folder, I will create a folder and I will call pages. And inside, I would have a first file called home.pages. 
home.js. This will be pretty simple. Import React from React. And then there will be a function call home. And it would say return a simple div which says home. And then I'm going to export default this home. Okay, similarly, I can add about.js. And the last one would be user.js. What I'm going to do is just copy paste the whole thing into user first and this would be user this would say user and this would ex export user so that's cool and for about it's gonna do the same thing about all right so now we need to import them inside the app so we can use them all right so we can say import home from so we have a path which is pages slash home. Similarly, I can import about from pages slash about. And lastly, I can import user from pages slash user. All right, so we have to do our due diligence and write the redundant code, which is unfortunate, but you have to do it. All right, so when I click on the home link, which is here, it should open this route and it would load the home component. So I would have to say here, component equal to home. So for about, it has to be about, well, capital about, obviously. And then here it should be user. All right, so if I click on home, it says home, if I click on about, it says about, and if I click on user, it loads user, I can see the URL, user, I can see the URL about. All right, so where does the hooks come in the picture? So it should come in now. Okay, so one of the first thing we need to do is, this user can have, and let's call this, I can pass John, I can pass the parameter, right? And it should show this user inside this user component. So it should have something like this. It will have a parameter called name, which would be John. So how do I pass it? So let's do a typical way without using hooks first, and then we can change it. So typically it would have something called match this would be like implicit uh, prop that comes in and then inside all we have to do is uh, match dot i think match dot params dot name so now if i go to user page and since i'm pass i'm passing the user john it says user john if I change here to, let's say, Peter, it says user Peter, okay? So it works. But instead of doing this, I wanna use hooks for this. So you're gonna say, okay, I need to import something from React Router because these hooks are not in React, they are in a React a Router. So first one would be use prompts router and then we don't need this match anymore we don't need to pass it the hooks would do it do it for us uh, we don't even need this match.params okay we just need name which we will get from this use param so all i have to say is const const name equal to use prompts and this would let me have this name if I save it, I will get the same thing. So now I can pass John and it would say John. But if I have multiple parameters, for example, let's say instead of name, I can have first name and then last name. So let's say John would be John Johnson. In that case, we would have two parameters. So I can get 
uh, first name and last name and this would say first name last name and now I get user John Johnson which gives me the first name and a last name so this is pretty cool you don't need to use that match parameter that used to be confusing what about the other changes okay for the second change instead of this about page like this I am going to say that to has an object and this is previously was available in react router so there will be an object inside here which would have the path name as about and then I can pass something into like a state and I can say from root or something or you can pass any state but it just says I came from root I have done that and well it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything at the moment it's passing it but I need to catch it inside the about.js the parameter that I passed from outside which is this this here I can catch it inside the about so all I have to do is uh, import a couple of things the first thing would be uh, use location so inside here I can say const location equal to use location when I run this hook it would give me this location so let's look at what it looks like so I'm just gonna say console log location and see how it works so if I inspect this it would give me this object so this location is nothing but this object I can see the path which is about and it has search it has key and hash and it has a state which I passed inside that uh, component which says from root so I can grab this state and so if I want to do that since it has only single tag I have to use fragments so I'll just use the empty tag here uh, div location is equal to I can use the remember the location is a path name right so all I have to do is location path name and here I have a location is flash about the second thing I want to display is a state so I can say div from equal to location dot state dot okay so I have from equal to root whichever I passed which I passed from outside here so next thing I want to do is I want to I want to go back to the previous route which whichever route I am in I want to go back to the previous route so for that I need a button say click go back or so so let's do that so I would have a button and I can say go back we need to use history here but we have a new hook call use history now we need to use it here so I would say const history equal to use history uh, usually when I click on the button that happens right so there'll be an on click event here. go back handle and so let's create this handle which will be another but function go back handle and all it's gonna do is it's gonna take history and dot dot go back so if I close it and if I do go back it goes back to whichever the previous so let's start from the beginning I'm just gonna reload this so I'm at home then I go to about so I came from home so if I don't go back it goes back to home but if I go user and about if I go back it goes back to user so that's how it works if I want to look at more uh, if I simply do console log I would see what other methods that are available in history so here I can see it has go back method go forward method 
And it also has a location, which we are getting from use location, which has exactly the same information. I didn't know that, but now I know. And you can have a push. Remember, we used to do history.push. Uh, you can do that here as well. So, and it has replace also. I'm not sure how replace works. If funny, somebody knows how it works, please let me know. Uh, so we learned about three hooks, use location, use history, and use params. If you wanna learn more about React hooks, I have a full React course on Udemy. If you or uh, any of uh, the person you know uh, wants to learn JavaScript, here's a Udemy course on full JavaScript. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can check out the example of this tutorial on GitHub. You can translate this video for me. Uh, the information is in description. And you can become my Patreon. Thank you.